What's going on, you guys? Today, we're going to talk about the age-old question. Well, maybe it's not age-old, but uh, something that's come up a lot, and that's, do looks matter? How much do they matter, rather? Okay, that's what we're going to be talking about today. In the old-school pickup days, they, there was this kind of consensus or talk that looks don't matter at all, and it's all about your game. Okay, probably not true. Now, today, I see a lot of people saying in some, like, forums <laughs> that looks are the only thing that matters and if you don't have looks you're screwed and you should basically just give up and kill yourself <laughs> all right that's a little bit too far the extreme okay it's somewhere in the middle somewhere in the middle okay because looks do matter but how much do looks matter okay how much should we be focusing on them okay that really depends on you and what you're looking for as well too all right if you just want to be good looking and get girls that care about looks hell yeah focus on your looks man and it does work you know, I know a lot of guys who don't really have much game, they're not smooth, and honestly, they don't really have much social status or any of the, any of the other things that you find, find attractive, but they're really tall, they're really good looking, and they're jacked, and they get a lot of women, okay? But I found for me in my own life, I look pretty much the same as I did when I was 21. In these very, like, hookup kind of environments, what I found is that I would perform better as I learned how to talk to people. When my game got better, when I learned how to talk, flirt, lead, be funny, be an interesting person, all of those things that people like, my success went way up. It was the biggest factor in my life, okay? And also learning how to plan things and you know, increasing your social status can help too. But the main things was, was I was learning how to behave around other people. Okay, so for me, Looks really didn't help me out that much, but me learning how to act, the stuff that I teach guys, that helped me tremendously, and so that's what I help, uh, help out other guys with. The truth is, women care a lot more about looks than they're willing to admit to you, but not as much as you think. That's how I like to put it, okay? So in Western society, women, they've done studies, and I don't know if this number is exact, you guys, so please don't hold it to a T. They care about looks about half as much as men do which is still not, not zero, <laughs> by the way. It's still a pretty decent number. Western women, especially in, in, in comparison to traditional women, they care a lot more about looks than women in traditional societies. Women in traditional societies care almost nothing about looks. It's pretty much all the social standing that they're gonna get, whether the guy's gonna treat them right. Um, those things matter, or what kind of father he's gonna be. Those things matter a lot more to them than looks do. If, even in Western society, the looks um, there are a lot of other characteristics that women care about a lot more, especially when it comes to a relationship. You know, kindness, your confidence, um, you know, your compassion, you know, your drive. All of these things women care about more than looks, especially when it comes to a relationship. And even in short-term hookup environments, women will care about things like your status, things like other things, a lot more than they will care about your looks. You can tell this because when women, when when people go out, I noticed that there was two kinds of guys that really did well in college. There was like the good looking guy or there was the guy that everybody knew, okay? And the good looking tall guys did really well in college. Well, the guy that everybody knew who like was very charismatic as well too, he tended to do very well as well, okay? So I would say those two things are the biggest thing when it comes to very short term hookup environments. And the things that you can work on is you can increase your social status, you can increase your game, so to speak, but you can also work on your looks too. Like it's very rare that I'll meet a guy who's a client of mine who will look so bad that I, like there's, he has no chance of being good looking. You know, the first thing that you can do obviously is to get in shape. And even if you're a guy who isn't necessarily fat or if you feel like you're overweight and even when you work out, you're still overweight, the fact that you're lifting weights, it conditions your muscles. You start moving in a different way. You start acting more confident just by lifting weights or just by doing some sort of physical exercise. You carry yourself differently. Women can tell. The way you move, the way you act, it all comes across, okay, so that's one thing. Then there's posture, the way that you stand. Then there's your style, the stuff that you're wearing and the, whether your clothes fit you or not. Then there's the way that you talk and move and you know, if you're doing very kind of submissive gestures and you're shutting yourself, obviously that's not gonna make you look good. Bigger gestures, standing upright, all of those things. I think that if you're a guy who, if you think you're a five out of 10, you can boost your looks up the, all the way to at least a seven, okay? So even if you feel like you're, you're super unattractive, 
just by doing those things, you can make your look better. So when I'm talking about looks, I'm not just talking about what you were born with or your genetics. I'm talking about a lot of the package, what people see when they look at you, the opinion that they get when they watch you go about um, your day or in a social event or something like that. So you can you can increase that. And the other thing that I mentioned too is that even if you just care about being in you know these high hookup environments you can increase your social status. You can increase the things that other women care about. One of the things that I used to do when I went out to compete with guys that were like way bigger than me. Well, first of all, I would have, I would be a smoother talker. I would be, the, the girl's just going to have way more fun with me than she would with a lot of these giant guys who, you know, some of them knew what they were doing, but most of them kind of just got off their looks and, you know, that's what they had to, had to offer. And if that didn't get the job done, they were pretty much out of ideas. Well, I wasn't counting on that. Like I knew how to lead people to fun. I knew how to give somebody a good night. I knew how to make them feel a certain way, get them to laugh, get them to feel sexy. You know, like you you need to have skills to be able to do those sorts of things. You need to practice, okay? So that's one advantage that you can have. The other one that I would have too was I would have a lot of friends there. I would introduce them to people. Um, I would be kind of like the guy that everybody was looking at in certain environments. And you can bet your ass, even if there was a guy that was better looking than me, even if his game was pretty good too, I would still be the one that people wanted to meet and get with. And that's because my social status increased. A lot of women are really into like basic, they call it pre-selection. You know, if, if women if women are into you, then more women will be into you because that's a good indication about how, how high quality of a mate you are. Those are the things that you can do to really institute that. But here's the other thing as well to you guys. When it comes to longer term and deeper connections, women really do value those qualities that I talk about, talked about before. Overlooks, kindness, compassion, you know, confidence, you know, your ability to, your drive. Those things they're looking for a lot more in a relationship than they would. So if you're not concerned about hooking up, I would say your concern about looks should be minimal. You should be looking for other qualities um, in women as well too, okay? But if you are looking to kind of do well in these kind of hookup or short-term mating environments, then you're going to have to increase some of the stuff that I talked to you about, okay? You can, you can make your look better. You can learn game, but you can also learn how to increase your social status and become a person that more people want to meet. And the way you do that is by bringing value to people. So that's really what this is all about. Looks is only one small sliver of the value chain. And yes, when you first see somebody, it can seem like the biggest part, but that's not the case it is not but it is also not nothing as well too so hopefully you've seen from this kind of an idea about where looks lie in terms of your mating goals in terms of your dating goals or your relationship goals or whatever where looks lie on the spectrum and luckily for us as men you know even if you're not a good looking guy even if you feel like you're ugly you still have a huge opportunity to be able to get the kinds of girls or women that you're looking for in life. You know, I think it's great, you know, the situations that we have right now. There's a lot of power that's off afforded men. Um, and women have a lot of power too, but I'd say in the dating game, unfortunately, uh, you know, there's the men I think have a little bit more freedom in that. So you guys should be able to be thankful for this and, um, and take pride in it. So don't look at this as a negative just because looks matter in some way, shape or form. Look at the positives. Look at the things that you can change. There's so much that you have the ability to control. Uh, and I teach guys how to do this in a lot of my programs. So if you're interested in that, I would click the link in the description box below. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.